In this episode of Today in Islamic History, we will travel back in time to discover the major events that took place on the 28th day of the holy month of Ramadan. On this day in 92 Hijri, corresponding to April 29, 711 AD, one of Islam's significant war heroes, Tariq ibn Ziyad, made one of the boldest moves in military history. He is the man who, in the face of battle, burned all his boats, which were the only source of his troops' safe journey back home. In the spring of 92 Hijri, Al-Andalus was under the tyrannical rule of the Visigoth king Roderick, who persecuted, oppressed, and imprisoned the Jews and Christians alike. His legitimacy to the Visigoth throne was opposed by many Visigoth nobility. According to the chronicles of history, an oppressed Christian chief called Julian, who had fled Spain, called upon the Muslims across the shores for help. By 92 Hijri, Islam had spread across North Africa, Persia, and Sham, and the Muhammadan armies of the Umayyad Caliphate were in their full power of early, confident expansion. As part of the truce, 12,000 Berbers, headed by the courageous general Tariq ibn Ziyad, were conscripted to the Umayyad army to fight against the Visigoth forces. Tariq must have been a remarkable man, as he had risen to the rank of general in only eight years, but his rise demonstrates the social mobility that characterized the Islamic societies of that era. Tariq's forces of 12,000 soldiers were greatly outnumbered by the 33,000 strong Visigoth army, led by Roderick himself. There was an aura of fear and skepticism amongst the Muslim flanks upon knowing which the fearless general Tariq ibn Ziyad ordered his loyal men to burn all the ships that had carried them here and were their only source of a safe journey back home. Once all the ships were burned, Tariq addressed his soldiers and said, Brothers in Islam, we now have the enemy in front of us and the deep sea behind us. We cannot return to our homes because we have burnt our boats. We shall now either defeat the enemy and gain victory or die a coward's death by drowning in the sea. Who will follow me? The army burst with great enthusiasm to meet the enemy and Allah manifested a clear victory over the forces of tyranny and oppression and they conquered Spain. The place where he landed was named Jabla Tariq by the Muslims, later twisted to what we know today as Gibraltar. That little name is a reminder of our glorious past and the heroic man who rose to the heights of courage on wings of faith and self-belief. Spain remained under Muslim rule for more than 750 years, from 711 to 1492. In its swiftness of execution and completeness of success, Tariq's expedition into Spain holds a unique place in the medieval military annals of the world. If this video was informational to you, please leave us a comment, consider hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to our channel to receive more information about important events in Islamic history. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time we post a new video. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.